Biola as a whole. Um, it's a good school. I love Biola. I love the people there. Who, what, where do I look? Guess peeping Mahog. I give all glory to God. Uh, everybody likes a little bit of anime. How stupid can I be? Um, I'm gluten intolerant. It's a lot to take in. He's literally got nothing else going for him. I don't know. I don't. I was so like, this is on me to like help this guy out. I think this uh, this show will go a long way in helping me. Um, I think I, I favor it uh, coming in. And I love it. Previously on Young Ones. You know, things are getting pretty lonely. You know, I think the biggest thing about Josh I just hate really just seeing him sit on his big old duff every Friday night, and he's just he's just a lonely guy. I hear that you uh, you might have a date coming up, right? I'm just worried that Jenny might have a, just another Biola girl. Um, how about this? You make that shot right there, I'll give it a shot, and I sort of hate him, so. Dude, you're going on it. You're going. Hey bro, you wanna go grab a milk? That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, shoot. It's Joseph, I got a text. I think I have to go meet him. I think he's in a crisis. You guys got me red-handed here. <laughs> I'm kind of known as the sports guy around Biola. It's just kind of an image that I can't shake, so. Sports takes up a lot of my time, you know, so I really, I really need a, a lot of a me time. So I come over here to Del Taco. I just love all sports in general, but I'm really good at my sport. I've really like dedicated a lot of time and effort to just being the best at this sport that I play. <sighs> hey Joseph, I came as fast as I could, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, what's your crisis? Hey How JJ, are you? thanks for coming. Yeah, you bet. Thank you so much for, for just meeting me here at midnight. So first off, I've got some problems, man. I'm on a sports team. Ugh, drag. I'm really good looking. Also, I've got all these girls that want my number. Yeah, so I've had this list since I was like four of, of these attributes I want in a, in a woman. Can we see it? You're really gonna make me do this? Oh my gosh, hold this. I, I always keep it with me right here. You, you gonna, you really gonna make me do this, guys? <laughs> All right, she has to be, um, she has to be blonde and uh, shorter than me. That's it? Well, and she has to be a girl. <laughs> Give me my food. But there's one girl in particular, she wants me to have a tattoo on my back. What should I do? Oh, wow. So I was at the gym. I was just uh, pounding these weights, you know, drinking a lot of protein. And, and I saw this chick just walk through the door. And I was like, I, I saw her in the sports game the other day. And so she walked right up to me and I was like, this girl is fine. Like, this girl is fine. What? This girl is fine. And she's spiritual. You know, Joseph, honestly, it just seems to me like the easy solution is get a tattoo. <laughs> then you get the best of both worlds. You get the girl, you get some sick ink, and, you know, you get a lot of friends from it. I'm following you on that track, but I, I just, she wants it on the whole back, JJ. The whole back? The whole back. Oh, wow. That's like, that's a big commitment. Yeah. But we get talking, she only likes guys with tattoos. The thing with that is, my mom hates tattoos. She thinks if you get a tattoo, you, you go straight to hell. But with this girl, I think it's worth it. Because this shoddy is fine, fine. But seriously, I don't want to go to hell. Dude, hold that thought. I think I might have a solution. You're gonna, you're gonna go crazy about this. All right. Hey, Caleb, it's JJ. I think I found the person for it. All right. I look here. You, okay. So I'm an art major. Um, I'm actually here at Home Depot right now gathering crafts for my latest uh, installation. 
I don't really draw or paint anything. I think of a lot of cool stuff. I want to eventually draw uh, like police sketches. That's honestly my dream. Right here, guys. Hey, Caleb. Oh, hey, Caleb. <laughs> hey, Joe. I'm Joseph. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sports, right? Art. Yes. <laughs> I've met Joe several times. JJ. Hey, Caleb. How are you, brother? Good. Good. Hey, we're praying for you. Hey, thank you. Yeah, of course. Hey, what were you guys praying about? <laughs> Just kidding, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> say, that's a rude question. It was, it was nosy. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh, what's going on, guys? Hey, so, all right, you know, on the phone, I was telling you that I found the guy for the tattoo design that you have. That's him? <laughs> yeah, that's him. Oh, yeah, so uh, I'm in this conundrum. So I met this girl, and she's crazy in love with Jesus and ink. She's only really into guys with uh, tattoos on their back, so thus we called you. Yeah. Okay. But the but the thing is, she wants the tattoo on my whole back. Whole back. Your whole back. My whole back. Can you help me out? Did you tell him? Dude, I didn't tell him. I just it's it's crazy. This dude. Is like this blowing, like it's yeah. mind blowing. I'm telling you. Is something dude. happening right now? Something's, something's happening. happening. Is something yeah. happening? Something's What's going on? Crazy. What's happening, guys? Check it out. Let me say it. I've been working on this all semester. It's my new art project. I've been pitching it as a tattoo somebody could have, but the teacher keeps saying, no, it's going to be incredibly painful. But, but don't worry, I, I can tolerate pain. I, it definitely looks like it fit your back, so check it out. That's perfect. <laughs> Told you. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Cool, man. Can you see inside my brain right now? <laughs> I, I think I just decided. I'm getting yeah. that on my back. Oh yeah, I'm jazzed. I mean, the fact that Joe wants the first picture I've ever drawn on his back, that's really cool. I think, you know, God really brings people together in such mysterious ways. I mean, it's a full picture. I don't know if he wants the whole thing on his back. I mean, he's a big guy, so I, I think he can handle it, but. You know, when Caleb came up with that, that painting, it was just a total God moment. Total God moment. And, you know, we were, we were all, in shock and in awe, and I mean, Caleb didn't even know what was happening. We were just like, duh, like obviously. For yeah. real. Yeah, For I real? just decided that right just now. I, I think I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get it. Oh, sweet. Yeah? I just need time to, to ponder it, I think. I mean, like, what are your parents gonna think, you know? Oh, they'll absolutely hate it. Oh, really? You're just gonna do it? Yeah, I think I'll just go behind their back, it's fine. It's what about fine. if it's like a tattoo that has meaning or something? Oh, yeah. This has meaning. Yeah. So I was reading through Ruth the other day, and this is a picture of Bathsheba. What's the basket symbolize? Lust. I love it. I'm sold. I'm yeah. getting it. <laughs> oh, man. I think I just need a little time to process it. Well, hey, well, uh, while we ponder, what do you guys say? We all go, I don't know, grab, grab a milk or something? <sighs> Got milk? I could really go for a nice uh, cold bottle of milk. Yeah. You guys want milk? Yeah. All right, sue me, I like milk, you know? And I, you got me, you got me, hands up. I, I'll admit that, I love milk. Let's go. That's, yeah, sure. Milk! I've been milking a while. All right. I know you're lactose intolerant, but. I'm actually gluten intolerant. I don't think that defines me. You know, JJ, I'm so glad we were able to just resolve all of our issues today, you know? And just like come together in a Christ-like manner and, you know, just fall on each other and, and um, just fall on each other and, and support each other so much. Me too. There's just something so great about coming together in fellowship as brothers in this community. I mean, Jesus wept, guys. So why can't we? I never, I never even thought about it that way. I never did. I, until 36. this moment, I didn't. He, he greater than I. He before me. Well, I know that you're lactose intolerant, Caleb, so I got you an orange juice. That was very thoughtful of you, JJ. Hey, uh, we care about you too, man. Thanks. I know, I mean, guys, honestly, you make me believe in God more. <gasps> Honest. I will cheers to that. <laughs> me too. I will cheers to that. <laughs> yes. Swap and spit. Mm. I think I might be gay.
I, th I think my milk's expired by about two months. Kind of had a strange taste to it. Yeah, I think mine is too. So is there like a limit to how much milk you can drink in a day? I don't think so. Yeah. Absolutely. I think there, I think there definitely is. Watch your feet. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Nice. See you, man. Going that. You know, JJ is just a really, a really great friend. More like a, more like a brother than anything, I'd say. Um, the spiritual growth and, and the connection that we made as friends, and then meeting my new friend, Caleb, <laughs> it, it was just a fantastic experience. Like something, something you can't get anywhere else but by all, you know? I have had too much milk in one day Countless times, like I can't count on two hands the amount of times that I've had too much milk in a day, and I've ended up just vomiting everywhere. And it just like, wow, how stupid can I be? So, are you gonna get that tattoo? No, I'm not getting that tattoo. Did you guys see that thing? It's hideous. <sighs> I just remembered I didn't ever get any churros. Me time. Oh. Next week on Young Ones. I tried to jump it. 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 Gosh! No. <laughs>